So let's talk about the first piece that you should break off to work on on MP1. So here's the idea. Um, the sort of summary view of our app showed us a bunch of sort of uh, summary information about each course, like the number and the department and the title. What we want to do now is we want to actually be able to also access more detailed information about the course. Uh, we've given you that information. So uh, in this uh, summary file is certain information about each course, like the number and the title, and you used that when you rendered the display for the summary view. But we've also given you this second file that you're going to use in this project, which is called 2020 underscore fall .json. Now this file has much, much more information about all the same courses. It's the same courses that are in the other file, but actually these JSON objects have much, much more detailed information about the course. So for example, it has the description for the course. It has the number of credit hours. This is all drawn from the course catalog, by the way. Um, it has information about uh, the course section, uh, gen ed categories. It has uh, information about each section of the course. So a course on some level isn't even really something that meets, right? Sections meet, um, and so on and so on. Now, there's a lot more information here than you actually need to use for this checkpoint. Some of you may decide to use some of this information later on, particularly for your project. This is all the information that's available in the course catalog. We're not expecting you to use all of it, but there's a little bit more that you need to be able to use in order to get to the point where you can actually show the display properly, right? And so let's 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 think a little bit. Let me open up the. Let's see here. Uh, go to manage projects. Uh, can I? Sorry. Let's see here. Let me close out of this and get to. Oh nope. Close out of this and get to the. Uh, this is the. This is the solution set. Um, and then we'll let me just run the app so that we can see. Um, so that, that first JSON file, the underscore summary JSON file, that exists in order to drive that, that uh, activity that we worked on in the first part of the MP, right? Remember, an activity in Android is a screen that you can see. We're going to talk a little bit more about this later. So this activity is driven by that uh, underscore summary dot JSON. But when I click on one of these and it brings up this more detailed view, now I actually want to potentially see more information. So I might want to see the description, which I'm showing here. I might want to see um, information about the prerequisites or whatever. The only thing you're required to show for this part of the MP is the description, right? Your activity is going to have to show the title and it's going to have to show the description, but there's quite a few steps that we need to take to get there. Um, the first step that we're gonna that we need to take that sort of comprises the first part of the um, the MP that's you know not particularly uh, tricky um, is uh, the modeling that information. So when we were working, so let's open up our app again. We'll go into the models directory in our Java folder, which is where this information is. Now, in order to get the project, the test suites to just barely compile, remember that we added this course model and we stubbed out a git description that right now just returns an empty string. One of the things that we want you to do for this MP is, this part of the MP, is learn how to build new things based off stuff that's already there. Um, so the animals are playing because it's dinner time. Um, so here's an example. You've got this summary class. This class was designed to match this, um, the data here, the JSON objects here. Now, what, we, what you're asked to do for this is to design a new class for the first part called course.java that builds off of summary.java. So it's going to include the same information as your summary class, but it's going to be able to add some more fields. There aren't actually very many fields that you need to add extra, right? So if you look at, I've got the semester, I've got the department, I've got the number, I've got the title, but this is your starting point. The uh, test suites expect you to add this description and you also will need to look through uh, this to get a little bit of a sense. So we're using Jackson, which we've had some experience with before, to deserialize. We've configured Jackson to ignore fields, um, that, so to ignore extra fields in the JSON, uh, in the JSON um, output. Input, sorry. Uh, so you don't have to, please don't set up, think that you need to set up course 
uh, down Java so that it actually stores all this information. There's really only that one field that we're testing, so that's all you should add. But there's a couple of things in summary down Java that you might need to, to add. So for example, there is an empty constructor. The empty constructor is actually necessary for Jackson to work properly. Um, and then after you have this empty constructor, there's all these getters for, for things and stuff like that. And those, those set fields, um, or, or those return the values of fields. And so your goal in course.java, and the solution for course.java is not particularly, uh, particularly big, um, but your goal is to start with summary.java, just add that little bit of extra information that we need in order to be able to show the full display of the course information, which is that description, um, and you know, base your work off of what's in summary.java. So in each part of this MP, there's like a reference code and there's some new code that you have to add to. So in this case, the reference code is summary.java. Um, the new place that you're gonna add some things is in the course.java, okay? Um, this is a great place to get started on the MP. I really do encourage you to work in order uh, through the different parts. Um, once you get this to work and you have this test suite completed, uh, come back and we'll talk about the next thing that you need to accomplish.